Over 1600 of you guys voted to decide who should Lucas Silva sign with, Adidas or Nike. And over 65% of you guys voted for Adidas and hence Lucas Silva will be signing with Adidas for the upcoming season. It's going to be a one season contract worth a million euros. Lucas Silva has now signed with Adidas alongside the likes of Lionel Messi, Marcelo even, one of his idols, Ozil, Luis Suarez, Paul Pogba. It's a really big moment for Lucas Silva getting this contract and there you guys can see Adidas have tweeted Lucas Silva is here to create and of course because of this new sponsorship deal he will be needing to wear the Adidas boots and he has chosen the Adidas Predator 18 plus deadly strike now in my opinion the blue looks really good on him but if you guys have any suggestions for boots put it down in the comment section below and we can sort something out but keep in mind it has to be Adidas because of course the sponsorship. Also, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. Lots going down. Of course, last episode, Lucas made his debut for the Brazilian national team. Now he signed a contract with Adidas and also Champions League football begins in today's episode. So if you're enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's smash out 500 likes once again. That'd be insane. And if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 18 career mode content. Also, I've got a bit of a request for you guys. Now, yesterday, the FIFA 19 beta was announced, so a few people got access to it. Of course, uh, it was only available in the US and UK, so I have no chance of even getting the beta. But if any of you guys watching the video have access to the beta, career mode, of course, and is willing to share the beta with me for a couple of hours or so, so that I can record a few videos to upload like a week before release, That'd be real, real good because that would definitely help the channel a lot. So hit me up on Twitter if you guys do have access to the FIFA 19 beta. Anyways, moving on. Now time for the Champions League game against PSV. First Champions League game of the season and our group is a bit tricky. We've got PSV, Besiktas and of course Spurs in the group. So it isn't going to be an easy cakewalk for us. To get out of the group it is going to be a bit of a challenge but with the team we have i'm sure we'll be able to make it out of the group stage but getting a positive result in the first game of the champions league i believe is crucial so let's hope we can achieve that lucas silva making his return to the champions league of course he made his debut last season but things didn't really go down well so hopefully this season will be better as the ball finds its way to Lucas Silva, Ben Yedder, now Correa, Joaquin Correa gets the shot off and Sevilla take the lead against PSV, Lucas Silva involved in the attack, he played that pass to Ben Yedda. definitely a fantastic team goal and the finish from Joaquin Correa was really good, right foot, top bins, couldn't have been any better, Champions League starts off in a fantastic manner as we take the lead 1-0, but here's Herving Lozano, we know how good he is in FIFA, finds one of the PSV attackers who couldn't convert that, that was a chance PSV should have taken, thankfully they did, as Nzonzi now with the ball, finds Pizarro, back to Nzonzi, now inside to Joaquin Correa, now Zivkovic, some brilliant build-up play, Lucas finds his way, can he get his first Champions League goal, and his shot goes just wide, what an attempt, what build-up play though from Sevilla, the passing was absolutely fantastic, but just wide inches wide, the coach can't believe that it hasn't gone in. Still 1-0 to Sevilla though, as again some good link-up play from Deep Longley finds Lucas Silva who's now on the attack, still Lucas Silva finds Joaquin Correa, ball finds its way to Ben Yedda, Lucas continues his run, gets the ball back, still Lucas takes it wide and maybe that was his mistake as he couldn't really do much from that position. Here's Zivkovic, the new Sevilla signing, still on the ball. Great play from him. Finds Jesus Navas, who gets the shots off, but couldn't convert from that angle. He isn't really a natural goal scorer, so you wouldn't expect him to score from that angle. But we might have a chance now here in the 55th minute. Now in the second half, Lucas Silva gets the ball. He does a bit of a ball roll, which does create good amount of space for him. He gets the shots off and a big save from the PSV keeper. So Ed there to keep Lucas from getting his first Champions League goal. The left back has had an ample amount of opportunities to even get on the score sheet. Now defensively, Lozano has been a really difficult player to just keep hold of and defend. But here Lucas does really well to put in a slide challenge. Lucas normally doesn't go to ground with slide challenges. This time he decided to do so and it actually worked out well. As Lucas Silva cuts it back to Zivkovic, who had a chance to get his first goal for the club, but unfortunately hits the post and also Lucas misses out on the assist there. But First Champions League game of the season ends in a 1-0 win for Sevilla. Joaquin Correa getting the goal, but it was a wonderful performance from Lucas Silva, both defensively and going forward. 96% passing percentage 
That is insane. Zero key passes. I'm sure that one he played to Zivkovic was a key pass. I'm not sure how that worked out. But 96% passing percentage. 8.8 .8 match rating. You, would, you could call this a perfect performance from Lucas Silva as a left back. And he gets rewarded for that. A brilliant looking Champions League man of the match card. 86 rated. What a start to the season Lucas Silva has had. He's put in great performances for Sevilla in the league. And now even the Champions League. He's also performed for Brazil. It couldn't have started any better. Now it's time for Lucas Silva and co to focus on La Liga. Sevilla are third in the league, a couple of points behind Atletico Madrid and they face Celta Vigo who haven't won a single game so far. So this could be a game where Sevilla should be able to get the win without much of a problem. Let's hope that's the case. Also keep in mind Sevilla are going for the league title this season because this is Lucas Silva's final season. And he definitely wants to bring home a trophy for the Sevilla fans as this game starts off well. Pizarro finds Lucas Silva out wide who gets past one with the fake shot. Still Lucas Silva cuts it back to Vasquez who really should have scored. A key pass that was from Lucas Silva and he does get a plus one on his ball control which is nice. As some good link up play leads to Joaquin Correa playing this one now to Lucas Silva who is in a fabulous position. Beats one still Lucas Silva gets the shots off and Lucas Silva scores against Celta Vigo. What was the Celta defense doing? I have no idea, but it took a massive deflection. So I was a bit worried if the goal was going to be given to Lucas, but ultimately it was. So it does go down as Lucas Silva's first La Liga goal this season, which is absolutely fantastic. He's now scored three goals this season, one for Sevilla and two for Brazil. And we are just in September. Let's hope we can continue playing this kind of football with Lucas Silva because if we do, this season could be a special one as now one of Celta's best players was is on the ball but Lucas Silva ain't taking no prisoners as he just robs the ball off Was brilliantly. Now Lucas Silva again on the ball, uses his pace. His pace is just so good but apart from the pace, he also possesses technical abilities like that and he pulls off a beautiful pass to Korea, asks the ball back but gets tackled last moment. Lucas is having a fabulous game so far. Half time and it does look like Sevilla will be walking away with the three points. Celts have had no answer and it looks like Celts are going to struggle this season. Lucas though on the ball once again plays this one to Joaquin Correa who gets the shots off but misses. He hits the side netting. That was an opportunity he really should have taken because would have been another Lucas Silva assist. But now it's Celta Vigo on the chance even though we've been dominant in this game. Celta a goal and they will be back on level terms. Fernando Torres does score. The legend of this sport does put the ball into the back of the net. But thankfully it was given as offside. Interesting to see Celta Vigo by Fernando Torres. As that is a fabulous pass from Eva Banega to Lucas Silva. And that's an even better pass to Luis Muriel from Lucas Silva. Perfectly weighted but Luis Muriel couldn't convert that but what a pass that was from Lucas Silva. We may still have a chance to make it two goals still in as the ball is now with Hugo Mayo. It's from a corner so Lucas Silva is a bit out of position and Zonzi finds Lucas. He's got enough space to get the shots off and that is a brilliant attempt from Lucas Silva. Unfortunately it rattled the crossbar and that was that. But we might have a chance now in the 90th minute. An opposition's corner is being countered. Lucas Silva finds Luis Muriel. This time he does not miss. And that is an assist for Lucas Silva who finishes the game with a 9.5 match rating. He's had a phenomenal couple of weeks making his debut for Brazil. Signing with Adidas. Does it get any better than that? Probably not. And now performing so well in both the Champions League and La Liga. A goal and an assist for Lucas Silva against Celta. Yes, it is one of the worst teams in the league right now statistically but still it's a league game. It is an important game and Lucas has delivered. 9.5 average rating, 94% passing percentage, 4 key passes in one single game. That is absolutely brilliant. And at the end of the game, Fernando Torres was asked a few questions in his post-match interview about Lucas Silva and he responded that Sevilla number 12 is one hell of a player. Nice to see Fernando Torres recognizing the ability of Lucas Silva. We know Fernando Torres is exploit so it really feels good. Lucas Silva has created the most chances in La Liga this season. It's an official stat and it's actually insane for a left back to hold that stat and I think he's now ahead of Marcelo in terms of chances created obviously which is crazy. You would have seen Lucas Silva getting another informed card, now 87 rated. And also, a bit of beef in the dressing room as Johnny is disappointed with his game time. He's also the left back, but with Lucas Silva playing so well, there's literally no hope 
for Johnny to get any game time. And also, Johnny is really disappointed with the fact that Lucas Silva gets paid four times more than him. Let's hope this does not escalate into a dressing room drama like how it did last season against Vasquez for different reasons. Regardless, we did simulate this game against Villarreal and we end up 2-1 winners. Don't want to exert too much on Lucas Silva because we've got friendlies coming up with Brazil and those are games Lucas definitely wants to play. We also sim this one against Depo so that Lucas can be fully fit for this one against Besiktas and also 4-1 against Depo was the final result, so a couple of good wins for us in La Liga. But now it's time to move forward with the Champions League game against Besiktas, match day 2. So let's get this game underway and hopefully pick up 3 points because the next Champions League game is a one where we could lose because it's against Spurs and we know they've got some good players. Harry Kane, Son and all those guys are definitely going to cause Lucas Silva some problems. But for now, Besiktas is the challenge. Lucas Silva finds Vasquez really well. Vasquez tries to play it back to Lucas Silva. Silva, but Correa finds Lucas Silva back again. Lucas Silva cuts it back into Vasquez. And Vasquez does convert. Now, you would remember the beef between Lucas Silva and Vasquez last season when they got knocked out of the Champions League. But it seems like it's all sorted now. Vasquez and Lucas Silva embrace as Sevilla take the lead. Good to see all the beef is now gone and sorted. Vasquez plays it out wide now to Lucas Silva. Lucas Silva puts in a brilliant cross to Ben Guedda. Now that is a sensational delivery from Lucas Silva to get his second assist of this game. What a start it has been to Lucas Silva's Champions League season. A man of the match performance in his first game and now a couple of assists already in just 50 minutes against Besiktas and it does look like we will be able to pick up all three points from this one but it may not be over yet as from a corner. Ball finds its way to one of our centre backs, in fact our right back Hugo Mayo and now Lucas Silva in a great position. He just sprints past a couple of plays, still Lucas Silva gets the shot off and that is absolutely stunning from Lucas Silva. A long shot with his left foot, keep in mind he's got like 50 long shots or something like that in terms of his stats. But this one was just unstoppable from Lucas. He just picked his spot. Top bins, I'm not sure if it was really top bins, but it was a phenomenal effort regardless. But what was the Besiktas defense doing? The number 30 was just watching him while Lucas Silva got that shot. Not really top bins, regardless, a fabulous finish. Now, a couple of assists and a goal from a left back in the Champions League. Absolutely brilliant from Lucas Silva. He's turning out to be a special, special talent. As a big chance though for Besiktas to convert that. Thankfully, the keeper does make the save, but a corner from Besiktas. Longley does clear the ball away, but Lucas steals it, and now he's practically one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but half the field to run through, and Lucas Silva utilizing that pace. Lucas Silva one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and that is where his 55 finishing comes in, and he couldn't convert that chance, but... Anyways, nothing to worry about that miss because it ended in a 3-0 win against Besiktas and Lucas Silva was out of this world in this game. A 9.2 match rating. That is sensational stuff. That's actually insane. He's had like three consecutively insane performances, which is brilliant. And I hope Lucas Silva can keep pushing forward like this so Sevilla can win some silverware this season. And next season, Lucas Silva can make his big move. But anyways, Lucas gets himself his third in-form card or, you know, Man of the Match Champions League edition card, whatever it is you want to call it. And it's now 88 rated. Let me know in the comment section what rating do you guys think Lucas Silva will end up with? Because it might be a really high one. But this is where things get interesting and very disappointing. Lucas Silva misses out on the upcoming Brazil friendly games. The fact that Lucas Silva has been performing like this lately and he's still missed out on playing for Brazil, it's absurd. It's actually absurd. I have no idea what Lucas needs to do to get into the Brazilian national team because he should be there. He definitely should be there right now, but I have no idea how he's missed out. We even simmed a few games planning out, you know, how we can be fit for those friendly games and see what's happened now. Very disappointing indeed though, even for Lucas Silva and his morale right now may be very low because even though he's performed so well, he's still not getting rewarded by getting a spot for the Brazilian national team. Hopefully, next episode onwards, he can still continue to push on and then, of course, finally get the opportunity to play for Brazil that he deserves. Also, next episode onwards, we're going to be giving Legendary Difficulty a go because I know some of you guys in the comments are going to already comment, increase the difficulty because Lucas is performing too well. So I've done that and we'll see how things go. But if the gameplay is not entertaining on Legendary Difficulty, I will bump it back down 
or decrease it to world class but that is it for today's episode really hope you guys have enjoyed this one it was a really fun episode to record subscribe if you're new around here drop a like if you've enjoyed and i will see you guys next time for another episode of this series